My name is Riley Keough and this is my Glamour Unfiltered. Well, I had read the thread, so I was like, I was just thought it was such a genius idea. Um, and I was really curious how, how they were going to adapt a Twitter thread. Um, and I, I'm really in hindsight happy that I was able to read the thread live in 2015 when it came out um, and have that experience. Um, but yeah, I was just, I just thought it was a brilliant idea and was interested in how they adapted it and what the screen, the screenplay would be like. I just feel that it's important to show all kinds of sex work. You know, I've, I've played sex workers a few times and on that journey, I've learned a lot about the world and, and how vast it is and how many different types of sex work there are. With Stephanie, I really just wanted to do my job and do what Janixa wanted. And that was really what I was focused on is delivering a performance that, delivering the performance that Janixa and Jeremy had written. I just wanted to take what was on the page and, and do the best you know I could to make this wild person a, a real person without, also without making her um, too much of a caricature. In anybody else's hands, I wouldn't have done this role. Um, Janixa is such a genius, and her subtlety and uh, and um, like she's just so incredible that I felt safe in creating her vision with her. Um, it, it wasn't something that was done. There was a pur a purpose to it, and there was a point, and it was very profound, and so that was um, meaningful to me. I have found that the more that I do, the more that I'm myself and the more that I um, am authentic and sort of unapologetic about existing, which should um. <laughs> be, um, the better I feel. So I just try to, um, anytime I can feel myself shrinking, I'll try and push back and I'll try and notice it in the moment, I think. For me, it's it's little things. It's, it's being in a room at work and trying to figure things out and going, um, oh, nobody wants to hear what I have to say. Pushing myself through that, going, I'm just gonna say it, you know, cause, cause whatever, the worst, worst that could happen is that nobody, you know, that we don't use my idea, you know, and that's not, and that's, that's, not so bad. What is bad is, is keeping it in and making yourself small. So I just like, I notice it in the moment and it's little things and I'll be like, okay, I'm, I want to say this, but I'm not saying it. Why? You know, and then I'll just, I'll just push through it. I almost would play dumb when I was younger. I, I would kind of just be, you know, and, and I'm not dumb at all. I'm very, very smart, <laughs> you know? So <laughs> it was this weird thing where I was like kind of trying to figure out how to manipulate and how to be able to just be myself, but with, with other people's projections of me and other people's, you know, ideas of me. And I, I don't know, like, it's just, it's been such a weird experience being a female. <laughs> well, I think that that is the two side thing where there's things that there's things that people are putting on you and then there's things you're putting on yourself and sometimes you can't tell the difference you know sometimes I'll walk into a room and and, and think you know all these people are whatever they're thinking you know and it's just me I'm just making that up in my mind you know and, and I think being able to tell the difference uh, when those two things are happening is really important I'm like a bit of a hippie. So for me, success is like when I have inner peace. I see a lot of people who think when I get this, then everything's going to be okay. Or when I, mm. this, when I'm this, then I'll be happy. And I just see through that. And I don't think that that is reality. When I did Zola, I met Taylor and Taylor, um, Taylor and I are very similar people. And when you meet somebody that you're very, very similar to, it is a very spiritual experience. And then at the same time, I really felt that from Janixa. In, and, and 
also when you have that as an artist, when you have a director who really feel like um, understands you and your work and your craft, it, that is also this like incredibly spiritual experience. I love women and I love, um, I love having female friendships and they, they've absolutely been the most important to me. Yeah, female friendships and female relationships have been the most important relationships of my life other than my, my marriage. We're told by Instagram and, and social media that, you know, if we're not getting up and running and drinking our green juice and yogaing and hiking and, and, and having 20 babies and being happy and, and wholesome all day long that we're doing it wrong. And I think that it's really a sick way to look at life. Life is challenging and, and life is, is great and it's difficult. And um, I think we're in a society where we are told that happiness is the goal. And I don't believe that. And I think for me in 2020, that was um, what got, what really, what I really, uh, came to understand in a different way. I meditate a lot. I meditate a lot. Um, I, I love it. It really helps me. I've had anxiety since I was 14, really bad panic attacks, um, horrible, horrible anxiety. Um, and that was something, and, and I would find myself running from it as a kid. <clears throat> and in my early twenties, just like, whatever I can do to not feel that. Something that I really like about myself is I don't care about those things. If I fail at something, I don't, um, I don't get stuck on it. I kind of just let it go. And, and, you know, if I do a bad take of a scene, I'll, I'll kind of be like, shit, you know, how do I fix it? How do I do it better? 